trying to get some of my copper and brass cleaned up because everybody tells me to quit hoarding that's what i've been doing that now is the time so i'm taking everybody's advice and cleaning up a bunch of my copper i've seen you there you go cleaning it up cleaning up my copper cleaning up my brass going ahead and getting it sent in but it seems to think that's the thing to do so i'm just a beginner and i listen to what my other scrap friends tell me by the way scrap life forever dirty um, copper and i got that somewhere a bucket of dirty that's not it that's not it Oh, so it's under here. There we go. Dirty copper. Dirty copper. Clean copper. Dirty brass. Clean red brass. And so on. Dirty. Okay. Dirty brass. I'm trying to get it all separated so I can bring it in and get the most money out of it. I'll have to separate them too, I imagine. Um taking a few of my copper pieces cutting them down into more manageable sizes so I can work with them bigger pipes seem to do okay with this little tool here I can get it to work mm. oops Jam. In. Switch. Cut. I'm getting in a cut mark and that's a damn thing. What the wrong with this piece of junk? Yes, it does work on bigger pipe sometimes. Pain in the ass. Didn't like that at all. See if it does this one. All right, let's see. You gotta open, stick it in, close it. I'll take that. Doesn't do small stuff though, unfortunately. Nothing small. Red brass. Copper. Dirty copper. That's all I'm doing today. That is all I am doing. Dirty brass. Doesn't want to go either way. Cut that piece off there. Clean. Piece of clean here. Throw that in the dirty and on with it. These have metal in them. Might not be necessarily, well it is magnetic, so that's gonna be dirty copper. Dirty copper. All right, so what I'm trying to do is go through what I have in here for 
whoa, copper and not just copper, but brass, yellow brass, whatever. So let's take this apart here. Put that out. Clean. Should be. Yeah, nice clean. Brass. Clean brass. Clean yellow brass. Where's my clean yellow? Clean. Looks like all clean yellow brass to me. Yellow, yellow, yellow brass. Clean yellow brass. I think I'm gonna have to scratch every single one of these pieces before it gets brought in so they can say yellow or red. So, I'll start doing that as I throw them in there. And now I'm looking for clean copper, clean brass, clean anything. Here's my clean yellow brass right here. Clean yellow. Clean yellow. Must be clean yellow too. that's white that might be stainless or there is such a thing as white brass but I have to set that aside not gonna go the drain part oh yeah that's definitely yellow brass I'm gonna scrape it a little bit just to make sure that's clean yellow for me. That's a dirty piece of yellow. See if I'm gonna cut that piece off right there. I'll put that in my dirty yellow brass. Because it does have some contaminant on it. And um keep it on, keep it on. We have a bucket. I mean a damn bucket. I'm gonna get all these things here off. I'm not sure what they're going to call these. I'm going to call them clean. Oops. I'll have to throw that on the scale later. See what we got. Yeah. Just in case they turn these into dirty. While I'm there, I'll make damn sure I got my clean off of it. I mean, I'm thinking it's clean, but they might be thinking it's dirty. So, if there is something clean on there, I want it before they say, no, that's dirty. Even though a magnet won't stick to it. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever. Let me just get it off of there. I almost 
almost looks red. Almost looks red. a lot of certain amount of contaminants that's not sticking let's clean you or that could be. If I bring this into the scrap yard and I try to say it's red, they're going to want to see a scratch. If I say it's yellow brass, they're probably going to want to see a scratch. So I'm scratching everything. Even that. That's a piece of steel. I mean, a piece of um, brass. That's a piece of brass. Dirty brass. Get a clean piece off of there by taking that little lid, throwing that. Boy, it looks so clean to me. I'm going to wait and let them tell me it ain't clean, damn it. Let them tell me it ain't clean. Like I say, these, these are a lot of fittings that could be used in some application. Um, sure. Hopefully I don't have any need for them for myself anytime soon. I'm not a plumber. I am not a plumber. I, mean, I would not know the correct way of using this stuff. That's for sure. super clean but let me go ahead and try to get that nut off of right there don't know if it's gonna happen let's see what happens here guys it's the best way to chew this thing all right will it come off yeah looks like it and that was easier than I thought. Let's see what we got here, guys. Even the screw is clean. We got nothing here to picking up. Get that little rubber piece off right there. Crap it. That's brass. Brass, brass. I mean, you're allowed a certain amount of contaminants, and that's there's just not much contaminants there. Yeah, that's some clean brass. Mm, dirty. I don't blown aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I don't know what that is. Not a hell of a buck of yellow. Damn sure. Copper. And that just means I made some space in here. What that means. I 
is a quick connect for a water hose. That's where that goes. though because it's really just clearing a couple empty shelves <clears throat> what do you think everybody's still saying it's time to turn in all my copper my brass whatever because if so that is what I'm doing in the yard a little bit but for the most part I'm gonna take me a little run just because I can I just want to see what I got like I said this is a small portion of what I got yeah but it's a portion yeah I've only been to the scrap yard twice this week. So I gotta really do another one. At least three runs in a week. And that usually makes me a fairly decent paycheck. Mess back here. Let's see what else I got back here I can grab. else can I grab oh my motors over there I'll grab them got some motors uh, let's see oh yeah I know what I want to grab the old piece of pipes right here they're definitely going today let's see here got some motors in a five gallon bucket might throw a few more in it what I got here. Yeah. Oh, motors. Motors. 
I'm taking them. Yeah. Today's my day. Yeah. I got any more over here. Small motor. Some brass here. Well, I'll get rid of since brass is my day. Let's do some brass. The rest of it is water in this bucket. Oh, brass right there. I like these. I mean, probably gonna be yellow brass. Sometimes they're copper. What else we got over here? I can grab real quick. Uh, take that wire right there. Here. Looks like some foam wire. Might take it off the reel, make it worth a little more, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There we go. Motor weight. Let me get my motors. Motor. Oh, yeah. Another heavy one. Quick. Thing. My damn legs feel like I'm a grandpa. Holy shit. Damn it, man. Okay. Grabbing all of that. I gotta put. I've got to do something different here. I really want to grab all this.
All right, we've got some garbage to clean up. My wife has a fit. Garbage.